Okay, amen. Do you have lake color? Man? Yes, I have this. Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. The topic this month is about happiness. Are you happy? Yes. Yes, yes we are. Yes. 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 Yes, there is battery. Okay. There. Okay. Are you happy? Yes, yes we are. Yes. And I heard some. Only Buster Tom is happy. The rest are not happy. Are you happy? Yes, yes we are. Uh, I saw over here she's not happy. It's not happy. Are you happy? Yes, yes we are. Yes. Energetic. Okay. Enthusiastic. I'm a live my life enthusiastic. Okay, God give us wonderful morning. We have to be alert, Amen. especially in the That's cold right. weather. In the cold weather, all of you have jacket. I don't have jacket <laughs> because why? I sing a lot. I'm happy. I'm running, so I'm I'm hot. Okay, now we just review our topic this uh, month, and I think it will be uh, the last for me. <laughs> the next month will be another topic. So we learn from Jesus. Where did Jesus find happiness? Who remember the first one, the first point? In giving. In giving. Very good. Amen. Jesus in this world, in, in this world, he has given his his treasure, right? He left his glory above and gave all uh, because through his poverty we become rich. He given his time. his time, and he given his love. his life, his life, his love. He said. Okay, so to whom you are giving your time? No. No, to whom? Jesus giving his time to you. And to whom you give your time? Uh, it's just, I give my time for myself only. Uh, really? You give your time to God. Okay? You give your time to God by doing your work. The word that God given to you, and what is the word God given to you? Huh? Homework? Homework? <laughs> not only homework. Study well. If you study well, you will not have homework. If you're not study well, lazy or sleeping over here, of course you have homework. Okay? Giving your time to the work that God given you, and that is studying. Study well, okay? And next, what else? Where did God find his happiness? In the second point? Oh, remember. In souls God saved. And how did he do it? He seek for it. He came to from heaven to earth for the man of man for the son of man come to seek and save. Seek and save, and which was lost. Lost. He seek it, he save it, he preserve it, he treasure it. Okay? And he glorify it. Amen? That's just a view. And then, in the third happiness, Jesus is happy when? Growth of the disciples in the Lord. Are you, are you disciples of Jesus? I want to hear a big amen. Are you a disciples of Jesus? Amen. Amen. I, I, I did not hear this over here. Just I only hear the voice of Pastor Tom. It's the only disciple of Jesus. I'm not saying apostle, okay? Disciples. Are you disciples of Jesus? Amen. 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 Okay. He wants us to grow. Grow in knowledge. Grow in love and care for each other. And grow in? Grace. In grace. Okay? And lastly, today, I would want to share to you, Jesus finds his happiness in waiting. In waiting. Okay? Before we start, let's pray. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this morning once again. And Lord, may you forgive our sins. Yes. And thank you, Father, for this, uh, all of these students here, for their health and for the cool weather that we have. And Lord, I pray that uh, you will help thy servant to share your word in power and love and in truth, in clarity. Help each one of us, Father, to learn and to know more about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, I have the question is, first question, what gift can you give to the dead? Okay. Someday, if you are invited to a funeral, 
Example only. Okay. What can you give to the dead? Flower. Flower. What else? The best gift that a person can give to the dead. Gold. The dead will say, I don't like gold. The dead will say, I don't like gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the best gift that you can give? Huh? That's a lot? Beauty. <laughs> the dead will Ah, oh, I will take first. <laughs> wow, what? You know what? One day, Jesus also attending a funeral. And Jesus gave the best gift. What was that? Who remember? Come on. Jesus was invited. He came into a funeral. And he gave the best gift. In John chapter 11 verse 43, Jesus was in the funeral of Lazarus. And when he, Jesus, has, uh, spoke and he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And then Lazarus resurrected. Okay? He went out from the dead. What? It's a... It's a mom's game. Okay. It's stinky. Yeah. It's four days. The people, all the people think like all the people said, Lord, he has been died four days already. This time he's stinking. Okay? All of the people say the same. But Jesus said, No, roll away the stone. And they obey roll away the stone. And Jesus oh, say a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. And I do not know what happened. The full of the bondage. You know, in the old time when somebody died, they 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 make it uh what's that? Mommy. Like mommy. <laughs> yeah. And then when <laughs> remove all of that, oh that's a little snake. <laughs> yes. The best gift Jesus way a gift for the death, that is the resurrection. And you know what? Someday all of us will resurrect Amen. Someday, you know, one day we all we will die. Okay? Even uh, die by accident, I do not know. Or this morning I almost have accident. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, see, because uh, he, he, the, some person crossed the road and he's not looking. He's not, he's looking, but he did not notice me. Or he did not see me, or I do not know. So, <laughs> and then he stopped in front of me and then, he said like that <laughs> because he's brave and he was surprised why you are there he said like that okay never mind look at this Jesus happy in waiting for the resurrections of the saints because in that day you your body your dead body will resurrect it. you and you will be bodily appear before the Lord of course, when we die, our soul will go to heaven, but our body, our flesh, will be buried. So we go to heaven, but not complete, only the soul. But in the later time, Jesus said, huh? in Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, the Apostle Paul said, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And when the trumpet ends, the dead in Christ shall rise. Wow. Amen. Imagine. I cannot, I cannot find from how, how come it be. All my white bones, or maybe the black bones has been burned into ashes. I do not know, but that is the power of God. It will be come again into a glorious body. That's what the Bible said. Amen. And Jesus is happy to see all of us. <coughs> and in Matthew chapter 26, verse 29, 
the night, the last night when Jesus uh, eat and drink with apostles, and Jesus told them, But I spake unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day. Until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Until that day when you resurrected, you will sit with me, you will sing with me bodily, glorifies his body, and you see and stay with me and drink with me in my Father's kingdom. So the moment that Jesus sit with them, drink with them, Jesus have that hope in mind already. Jesus have that hope, that faith, that hope that each one of you will be resurrected. Amen? So he is waiting. He is happy to wait for that day to come. Not only all of us are happy, right? Are you happy when your loved one die? No. no. But are you happy when your loved one resurrected? Yeah. Amen? Wow! But another will be very happy if mom went resurrected. <laughs> Yeah, all of us is looking forward. And I tell you, not only all of us, Jesus Christ also is happy looking forward that day. And then, the second point, he is waiting. Now, I have a second question. What is the most happiness moment of a girl? Or what is the most happiness of a girl? Come on, I'll ask the girl. I'll ask the girl. What is the happiest moment in their life? What's the name of uh, Lily. Who is Lily? Mm -hmm. Ah, Lily. <laughs> okay, so what's the happiest moment in your life? All the girls who answer the same. Besides salvation, okay? The f happiest moment of the girl is she's calling her face. Are you shy? <laughs> Wearing the crown, wow. wedding gown, marching in the wedding, and you will be the most beautiful girl in the world that day, and you center <laughs> of the wedding, right? That is the most happiness moment waiting of a girl. If you chose the right husband. <laughs> So now, you know what? The most happiness moment in heaven, the great event in heaven, is the wedding of the Lamb. The Bible said in Revelation chapter 19, verse 6, And I heard it was, great, it was the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunders, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. The voice of many great multitudes, the voice of the Old Testament saints, the voice of the angels. And let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. Wow. Pastor Tom and me, before the day of our wedding, I do not know the girl, the man is so excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward it. Looking forward it. Okay? Jesus is also looking forward it. Each one of us, the church of God. The church is the bride of Christ. Hội thánh, những người tin Chúa được bát tem theo kinh thánh, được thêm vào hội thánh là trở thành một thành viên hội thánh và hội thánh đó chính là cô dâu của Chúa Giêsu trong ngày sau của mình. Yeah, have you ever heard about the marriage of the Lamb? Có bao chưa bao giờ nghe về đám cưới của Chúa Giêsu đúng không? Tại vì trong trường, trong, trong, trong chỗ của con đâu ai vậy đâu Nhưng mà Kinh Thánh nói The marriage of the Lamb is come This is not figurative speaking 
It's not that, oh, it's just, oh, you know, it's just a feeling of uh, compelling joys of marriage. Or, or it's just, it just uh, you know, uh, a universal judge, a Catholic judge, or it's just a Jew judge or the Gentile judge. No, those, those, those things are wrong. I don't have time to explain about that. But as for you, there's a truth that someday Jesus will celebrate the wedding, the marriage of the Lamb to his church. If you are saved, if you belong, if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, good, you will go to heaven, but it's not enough. You will go to heaven, but yet you are just a guest, invited guest in that wedding. But if you want to become a, a bride of Christ, you have to be included in his body. That is the church. That is in water baptism. The first step of obedience to follow Jesus is to follow the Lord in water baptism. It's your only sign, like life, like Lily said. I will be happy in my wedding if this is my right husband. I hope counts. Yeah, if it's wrong husband, I will be very sad. <laughs> but if right husband, I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want Jesus to become your husband? Uh. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jesus is looking to water. Let's serve the Lord. Let's be faithful. I do not know it's not a religion. This is a relationship. If you just become adopted sons of God, that's good because you have Jesus Christ. But it will be much, much better if you become a part of the church, a body of Christ, and then you will marry to Christ in the future in heaven. You will be the center of the whole heaven together with Christ. That would be wonderful. To her it was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, and clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Okay? That, of course, in heaven you will not wear this clothes. You will not wear this, this kind of gown. But you will wear the gown, the fine line is the righteousness of the saints. Be in the church of God. Jesus is happy in waiting for the resurrection of the saints and for his wedding in heaven. And lastly, last but not the least, is terrible. If you choose not to follow Jesus, you remember. In the old time, in old old time, many Romans people persecuted Christian. They fed Christian to the hungry lions. They even crucified the Christians, and they burn over here, burn with fire, and the Christian dies slowly. That's how terrible the persecution. And imagine, man. If you have a wife and your wife being persecuted, being burned by all the people, what do you feel? Revenge. Right? Revenge. Jesus is waiting for his vengeance. Vengeance. Revenge. And what is more terrible than that? What is more terrible than death? If you, if Jesus, if God wrath on the earth, it just, re, just death, and all body die. It's very easy for that. It's very easy for that. In the book of Revelation, I tell you, it's not easy to die. God wrath will be upon all these people, the people that is persecuting the church of God. In Revelation 6, 9, In those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and desire to die, 
and death flee from them. That's how God wrath upon the humans. Their many locusts with a face like man, the stink like the stink of scorpion, and stink all humans being, and they want to die, but yet they cannot. And that all the kings of the earth, and all great men, the rich men, the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond man, every free man, hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountains. And they say, and said unto the mountains and rocks, Follow us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. In those days, God will revenge those that reject the Christ. This is the last warning. We do not know how, when Jesus will come back. But remember, after Jesus come back, <coughs> all the Christians <coughs> will, will be taken up to heaven. All the dead in Christ shall rise up. On the leftover are the unbeliever. If you do not follow Jesus, you will remain in this earth when Christ comes. And the wrath of God will pour on you. And that time, all the human will suffer pain, want to die, but cannot die. Will you follow Jesus? Will you follow him or you just decided to stay? Those who not follow him, the vengeance will come. See? Jesus finds his happiness in waiting. These things are not happening. He's waiting for the restoration of the saints. He's waiting for his wedding. Lastly, he's waiting for his vengeance. These are very happy. This is a very happy, but this is very sad, very angry. Which one you belong to? You will belong to the resurrection of the saints? Or you both also belong to the resurrection of saints and you belong to the wedding? You become a part of the wedding, become the bride of Christ. If you follow Jesus, if you follow the Lord in water baptism. Pastor, what is water baptism? I want to follow Jesus. I want to follow the Lord, what the baptism, I want to serve the Lord in the church. Ask your pastor. Ask your pastor, Pastor Tom. He will help you. He will visit your family. He will teach you, teach your family, teach your parents also how to follow the Lord. It's not a joke because this is what the Bible said. And if you do not believe in these two, you neither believe in Jesus. Remember. There's vengeance, there's a revenge, there's a wrath of God for those that do not believe. To whom you are believing to? It's terrible to fall into the hand of the mighty God. Let us be wise. Okay? Who among you want to be resurrected? Yes, me, teacher. Who among you, who among you want to be a bride of Christ? I will not go out with Congress. Oh my God. Take no us. Who wants? Uh, one more time. Ask one more time. Who wants to be the children of God and resurrected from the last day? Right? Higher, higher, higher. Confident in God. Not yeah. confident in the pastor. Confidence in God. Man, 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 man. Confidence in God. And who wants to become the bride of Christ in the last day? Because the Bible said, in the last day heaven, we will rejoice in the marriage of the Lamb's come. Who wants? Who wants to be the bride of Christ? Raise your hand, come on. I saw that hand, I saw that hand, I saw that hand. Come on. Who wants to become the bride of Christ? Amen. This is the intimacy with God. Intimacy with Christ. Serve the Lord. And how about the rest? If you not believe in Jesus, the vengeance still waiting. Let's talk to your pastor about how to become a part of a church, become a bride of Christ. Let's pray. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this wonderful morning. 
Thank you, dear Lord, for this reminder. And Lord, you give your best to us. You give your all to us. You give your times. You give your life. You give your treasure. And Lord, you find your happiness when we grow in the Lord. When we trusted you as the Lord personal Savior, we grow in grace and love and care for each other. And you find your happiness in waiting the time to come. Someday, each one of us will be changed and will bring up into heaven with you. And Lord, I pray that these children, despite of how young they are, Lord, if you touch their heart, help them, Father, to follow the Lord, to be, serve the Lord in the local church, to become a part of the church, the presence body, representative body of Christ on earth, that they may enjoy the relationship, the intimacy with Christ. And Lord, thank you, Father. I pray that you help all these students to follow, step out in faith, dear Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Steve.